Football is a big sport here in Greenville, North Carolina. Senior wide receiver Devon Grayson has been playing for the East Carolina University football team since his freshman year. Let's talk to him and see why he started playing football in the fourth grade. Well, when I met my stepdad, when I moved to him, he started getting me into all these different sports, and I played every sport from track, uh, baseball, football. I played some of everything, and uh, I think just the contact of football and being able to um, fight without getting trouble for it, I think that was the fun part for me. Football opened a lot of doors for Grayson. He received college football offers from the majority of the USA Conference in 2012. When I got down here to the camp, I met our head coach, Coach Ruff at the time, and uh, he just instantly made me part of the family here. And um, then once I made my commitment here, um, it didn't change. Everybody stayed true to what they said they do here, and uh, it was a great decision for me. My very first game here, my freshman year, I was 17 years old, scored three, three touchdowns the first game against ODU, um, scored my fourth touchdown of that season. The very next game on my 18th, I turned 18 that day. So it was, you know, fun to score a touchdown. So so young here, put a big staple on my career, on the start to my um, football career here. I think all in all, um, my career has been the chemistry I've formed with my teammates, guys like Zay Jones, even far as back to like Cam and Justin and Shane Carden and, you know, Gardner, Kurt Binker, who transferred, but he's still a meal part of my family here and um, all those kinds of guys. I think just the bonds that I made with my teammates has for sure been the best part of my career here so far. When fall 2016 came around, Grayson couldn't play in his senior year due to injury. He was diagnosed with a spinal disease called spinal stenosis. I had two bulging discs on my spine and I had to sit out last year. Um, we had hopes of me returning through like midway through game six, game seven. Ended up getting an epidural shot in my spine and um, had to, you know, reevaluate my myself as an athlete and things that it took to be good on the football field and how I was taking care of myself, my 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 health. You know, I, I knew how to put in the hard work, but I didn't know how to quite take care of myself afterwards yet. You know, now that I'm older, I know how to go to treatment. I know how to stretch more. I know how to take yoga classes and eat right and all those things that at a young age I didn't know how to do and they caught up to me towards the end. Got my extra year back and now I'm 100%. Along with football, Grayson came to East Carolina University for his education. I'll be here for um, the summertime and then next fall I'll take um, like kind of some classes, some intro classes and the things that did that start? I had a chance to go to graduate school, but you know, graduate school with football is a kind of a tough mix during this season, and I want to be all focused in on the opportunity I got. This season for the Pirates is still unknown about, but we do know it will be one for the Bucks. I know it's going to be a season filled with passion, season filled with um, older guys that you know you're going to see how much it means to us. It's our last year. Um, big group of guys who would, this is pretty much the last class of guys that came in with Coach Ruff. This is the last era of, you know, players who played under, underneath him. And, you know, we've been through a lot since we've been here. And um, this is our last hoorah, our last chance to show everybody what, 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 what we stood for, what we stand for. And um, it's going to be an exciting season. After college, Grayson wants to continue his football career at a professional level. We'll see where, where guy it takes me how everything turns turns out, but I know for a fact that my health and strength is where it needs to be. God will provide that. Um, and outside of that, I just want to continue to learn. My, my internship right now has shown me a lot about the sports world from a different standpoint of just an athlete. I know how to um, prepare an event. I know how to, you know what I mean, engage with the fans, you know, things that as an athlete, you just get one perspective perspective but now I see how it all coincides so um I definitely want to stay around sports well that's a wrap here at East Carolina University thank you for watching and I will see you all in the fall at the first home game September 2nd 2017